CS8493 Operating Systems. This is Anna University, fourth semester, Computer Science Engineering and Information Technology paper. Also, this paper will be studied by ECE students in their fifth sem elective. And this is 2017 regulation syllabus. And I will give the textbook overview, the page numbers and which textbook you have to refer for your open book test. Objectives of this subjects are the students have to understand the basic concepts and functions of operating system, to understand process and threat, to analyze scheduling algorithms, to understand the concept of deadlock, to analyze various memory management schemes and to understand input output management and file systems and the students have to be familiar with the basics of Linux system and mobile OS like iOS and Android. The textbook and references given in your syllabus are Textbook 1 Abraham Silberchat's book which is Operating System Concepts 9th edition you have to download and there are uh, 7 references are here so basically textbook 1 le enna concept irko adey da ella references liyum irukum but namakku 5 units ume textbook 1 le irundhu kuduthirukranga and oru uh, unit case study 5th unit la mattum sila concepts vera book la irundhu irukku but na adu paatha varaikku enak reference book la adudeya content kadaikala enak vera oru book la adudeya content adey maadhiriyana subheadings odave kadachirukku so and the book na ungalku pinnadi video la refer pannirukken neenga note pannikonga Unit 1 Operating System Overview So here there are 5 topics Idhu me ungalukku textbook 1 la thaan irukku Title, first title Computer System Overview, Basic Elements, Instruction Execution, Interrupts, Memory Hierarchy, Cache Memory, Direct Memory Access, Multiprocessor and Multicore Organization So idhu ella me Computer System pathina concepts Hardware eppdi irukku அல் எப்படி நம்ம் memories அல்லாம் access பண்ணலாம் இது எல்லாமே நீங்கள் அல்ரடி computer architectureல் படிச்சிருப்பீங்கள் அதில் இருக்கிற கொஞ்சு concepts தான் இங்கியும் இருக்கும் இது textbookல page number 4 to 14 வரிக்கு வருக்குது next operating system overview so basic operating system நான் என்ன அந்த concept பத்தி படிக்கிறதுதான் இந்த next half of the unit objectives and function evolution of operating system computer system organization இது வந்து page number 5 to 7 in textbook 1 Third topic, Operating System Structure and Operations. This is page number 78 to 86. Next, System Calls, System Programs. So, in the end of May, you will see OS Lab Record in the first experiment. So, that is how you will see the brief page number 66 to 74. Next topic, OS Generation and System Boot. This is the textbook 1, page number 91 to 92. And this is the first concept, Computer System Overview, Operating System Overview. So, this is the first book that I have to study in one book. I have to study all the other references in the other book. And you can study all the Google and you can study all the content. So, basically, Computer System and Basic Concepts, we can study all the other books. Google and you can study all the Wikipedia. You can study all the links and you can study all the other links. So, you can study all the other concepts. Unit 2 Process Management இந்த unitல் இருக்கிற topic நான் 5 slides வந்து உங்களுக்கு split பண்ணிருக்கிறேன் நீங்கள் syllabus பார்க்கும் போது உங்களுக்கு second unit வந்து ரும்ப பெரிய unit மாதிரி தெரியும் இத வந்து நான் ஒரு 5 sub-topics இது split பண்ணி அதுக்கு கீல அதுக்கு உள்ள இருக்கிற topics எல்லாத்தியுமே நான் வந்து உங்களுக்கு tabலைஸ் பண்ணி So first topic processes, இதில 4 sub-topics இருக்கு, one is process concept, process scheduling, operations on processes, inter-process communication, இது textbook 1ல chapter 3 full இருக்கு, and அந்த chapter 3லையு உங்களுக்கு textbook 1ல பார்த்தீர்கள் நான் நிறைய sub-topics கொடுத்திருப்பாங்க, நீங்கள் வந்து இதில நான் mention பண்ணி இருக்கிற page numbersல இருக்கிற topics மட்டும் நீங்கள் படிச்சா போதும், page number 105, scheduling வந்து 110, Operations on Processes 115, Inter-Process Communication, அது IPC அப்படினும் சொல்லுவும் அது page number 122ல இருக்கு Next sub-topic, CPU Scheduling, இது வந்து chapter 6, page number 261ல இருக்கு textbook 1ல 
Scheduling Criteria, Scheduling Algorithms, page number 265 and 266. Multiprocessor Scheduling, page number 278. Real-time Scheduling, page number 283. Next subtopic in Unit 2 is Threads. Overview of Thread, page number 163, chapter 4. Multi-threading Models, page number 169. Threading Issues, page number 183. Next subtopic, Process Synchronization, the chapter 5 in textbook 1. Critical section problem, 206, Synchronization hardware, page number 209, Mutex logs, Mutex abdina, mutual exclusion, say so, the page number 212, Semaphores, page number 213, Classic problems of synchronization, critical regions, page number 219, Monitors, page number 223. So next subtopic, this is the second unit, last subtopic, deadlock. Chapter 7, this is the system model, page number 315, deadlock characterization, 317, methods for handling deadlocks, page number 322, deadlock prevention, 323, deadlock avoidance, page number 327, deadlock deduction, page number 333, Recovery from Deadlock, page number 337. Unit 3, Storage Management. In the Unit 3, we will split the subtopic in the first topic. First, the Main Memory. The chapter 8, textbook 1. Background, page number 351. Swapping, 358. Contiguous Memory Allocation, 360. Paging 366, Segmentation, Segmentation with Paging, page number 364 to 382, 32 and 64 bit architecture and their examples, page number 383 to 388. Second subtopic, third unit, la, Virtual Memory, it is chapter 9, la irukudu, Background 397, Demand Paging 401, Page Replacement 409, Allocation 421, Thrashing 425, Allocating Kernel Memory 436 and OS Examples page number 445. Unit 4, File Systems and Input Output Systems. In the unit, you can see the syllabus in the unit. So, this is you split the unit. Chapter wise, split the unit. So, 5 slides, 5 subtopics, we will see the unit 4. Mass Storage System, it is Chapter 10, Subtopics, Overview of Mass Storage System, Page Number 467, Disk Structure, Scheduling, Management, it is Page Number 470, 478, Swap Space Management, Page Number 482. Second Subtopic, File System Interface, it is Chapter 11, File Concept 503, Access Methods, page number 513, Directory Structure and Directory Organization, 515, File System Mounting, 526, File Sharing, 528, File Protection, 533. Third Subtopic, File System Implementation. So, the File System Structure, page number 543, Directory Implementation, 552, so, this is the file system implementation or subtopic. That is the chapter 12 full away on the file system implementation. That is the page number 552. Allocation methods 553. Free space management 561. Efficiency and performance 564. Recovery 568. Fourth subtopic. Input Output Systems, the chapter 13, la, page number 587. La input Output Hardware, page number 588. Application Input Output Interface, 597. Kernel Input Output Subsystem, page number 604. Streams, page number 613. Performance, page number 615. Unit 5, Case Study. Linux system, chapter 18 from textbook 1, design principles, page number 786, kernel modules, 789, process management, 792, scheduling, 795, 
memory management 800 input output management 815 file system 809 Inter-process communication 818 Next, mobile OS This is two type of OS one case study We have a syllabus One iOS and Android So, this is not reference books or text book This is not content So, now we have to use this iPhone iOS 4 Development Essentials Xcode This 4th edition book This subheading is the content but that is only for iOS. So, that is equal to Android. But Android is not an actual subheading. So, if you have an internet, you can ask a question about architecture of Android. That is Google answer. So, now I am saying iOS. Architecture of iOS and SDK framework. In the book, iPhone iOS 4 Development Essentials book. Chapter 18 ले page numbers 27 to 31 ले रुकते हैं media layer page number 31 to 33 services layer page number 33 to 35 core OS and file system page number 35 to 36 outcomes of this subject so after studying these topics these units the student can able to analyze various scheduling algorithms they can understand deadlock prevention and avoidance algorithms and they can compare and contrast various memory management schemes so in the third point la irundhu kuda ungalku question kekkalam nariya management schemes irukku memory management scheme adha neenga compare and contrast pannalam kuda ungalku exam la questions kekkalam part b or part c questions kekkalam understand the functionality of file systems perform administrative task on linux servers Compare iOS and Android operating systems. So these are the outcomes of this operating system subjects. If you have any doubts, leave your doubts in the comment section. Thank you.